hey, hey, hey. Uh, guys, welcome to another uh, episode of uh, Bubble Tea's Gaming, and today we will be presenting on Glory Level. So, uh, Glory Level is an old thing, but not many people cover it. I only decided to cover it because Freeze has uh, very generously uh, maxed out his Glory Level, and he has done an Excel spreadsheet. So uh, I'm gonna take from him, free from FDH, usually one of the data guys from FDH that is really good with uh, mining data and getting value out of the game. So just gonna steal his work. But if you want if you want to ask him any questions, he probably knows a lot about the game, you can message me or, if, or me or him. If you want a picture of this screenshot, just let me know, I can probably drop it to your inbox. Okay, so what is uh, Glory Level? Glory Level is something that uh, is an upgrade from the current building. So in the past, uh, it was to a level 25 and you do, do not need to use speed ups. But then the game decided to add something on the building so that you can extra effect. So for example, right now on the screen is my castle level. It's a full level 10 and you see that it gives you extra army size. So without further ado, uh, here is the thing I stole from Freeze. When I enlarge it. Sorry, let me see what I can figure it out. Yep, uh, this is the full table. So at level 1, you need 4 honor panels for the castle. The, and level 10, you need uh, 800. So, as you can see from the graph, the most combat one is 800 and the other uh, supporting utility is usually about 600. So the only exception here is marketplace. Marketplace attacks a uh, total attack, but in order to do that, you actually need to upgrade your warehouse. So essentially, your marketplace is 1000 uh, honor banners though. Never really actually bought honor banners from the shop. It's actually like a very uh intuitively when you they come up with special packs they usually give a healthy amount of honor banners like the castle spin and uh what the other one the ac winner uh packs and the uh, one with total attack they usually give a healthy amount of honor banners so during the normal course of the week i never actually felt the need to buy them so this is uh the table so uh you can get it from freeze or me it's not an issue uh if you want just hit me up i can pass it to you on discord so what does this uh mean so uh i'm gonna uh, you can pause the video now or you i can ask for me the tablet but i'm gonna explain deep about honor banners so i'm gonna hide this Boop. notepad 2020 so uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This game in it. Let me rescale my stuff. Okay, so what does uh, Castle do? Uh, as you can see from the graph, Castle uh, is the one that I recommend everyone rush to level 5 because uh, it is applicable for every role. So the banner man need it for the army size and talents. The rally lead also needs it for the army size because if you're a rally tank and you don't have let's say uh, any army size or, or banner rally size in your refinement your refi your army size is naturally going to be quite low so getting the cast and zero castles can use the army size and there's a one more hidden buff uh, castle also adds a uh, shelter capacity So this is why uh, I recommend everyone, regardless of what role you're in, to rush for this though. The extra talent gives, potentially gives you some uh, additional points in health or in attack. But generally, this, this one is the way to go. But the castle has one downfall. Uh, you need to level up your wall and your protect, your rookery, I think it's rookery and uh, marketplace and uh, blacksmith and warehouse so essentially you can't one shot rush your castle to level uh 10 to get the 100k army size though you need to level up your wall in your rookity and your marketplace and your blacksmith so th uh, this is kind of a like 
it's like most things in the game you have to level up something useless at the start like in research the four trees and then you can unlock the ultimate with what you want think about it like this though so your wall uh this overall will cost you quite a fair bit if you want to tally up just use the table beside but i'm gonna go into details of what the extra banner uh does in this video so your wall just buffs up your wall like your fortification and your health uh rookery gives you siege attack reduction at a uh, level 10 is 20 so it's pretty nice though uh marketplace uh wait uh, what's the thing in marketplace in a minute oh uh, yeah 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 marketplace oh, what's this oh warehouse okay okay my bad my bad so marketplace it gives you total attack warehouse uh ups your transport limit and uh blacksmith uh decrease forging time and increase your total def defense and oh you must up your embassy uh, if i'm not wrong yeah yeah your what, what's the one in the middle your embassy as well embassy total uh health and reinforcement limit so how much you ask this one i have it at level 10 so i can show it to you it's about 200 and 12 percent total health it's pretty sweet man our it's a good deal it's a good deal so well, then what's the other stuff that you want uh, that adds I'll, I'll give the whole breakdown and then i will go into role specific so Oh, uh, barracks. Uh, this is barracks, and this is your research tower. Okay. Wait a minute. Ay, 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 ay. So your uh hospital gives you further health and hospital cap. Then your barracks gives you training limit and uh total defense. And further defense. And your research tower gives you total at uh, further attack. Attack. Then uh, your banner hall. This one is the one uh, gives you rally size. Oh, it's uh, I think about two hundred k at level ten. It's pretty sweet though. Then uh, what do you call it? Uh, dungeon and what's the other one? Hall of Faces. Dungeon gives you health reduction. Oh, uh, rally size and defense reduction. Yeah, I think it does give you defense reduction. And your health gives you attack reduction. I think at level 10 is 20% flat, which is pretty nice though. So all these uh, things, uh, wait, warehouse ups your, uh, warehouse doesn't up your transport limit, that's the marketplace, total, uh, total attack and transport limit, warehouse basically gives you uh, endurance and uh, motivation regen, so uh, knowing all this like I believe everyone should focus on your main castle to get it to level uh, 10 first. So you need to do like a lot of the other stuff along the way, which you get some health, total attack and total defense, which is not that bad of a deal though. But after doing that, uh, what I recommend is if you're a rally lead, you do your embassy. Is it embassy? Oh no, your banner hall. For the rally size and your uh, defense reduction. Yeah, just basically you do it for the after complete your main castle, you can focus to get your rally size because that's as a rally is important. After doing that, you're gonna need to go for your half and your embassy, uh, embassy, not embassy, embassy, yeah, embassy and dungeon. 
so you can't do your half directly. Your half needs your dungeon, and your dungeon needs your uh embassy to level up at the same time. So you can't actually go like full level ten and ignore your half. So it's kind of like a restriction, so that you have to climb incrementally, but it's not that bad. So if you're a rally tank like me, uh, recommend after getting your castle to level five, or work on your embassy. The one with reinforcement, because you're probably gonna tank a lot rally, and you need your reinforcement limit to be more. And then, uh. Oh, yeah, but see, and then uh, for me, I personally go for hospital, so I uh level it up and siege, and the rookery. So these are the three uh things that I like to do as a rally tank that I focus specific. Then after you complete these three, it's basically all the same value. Like uh, as long as you don't uh level up your wall and your warehouse, yeah, rally tanks don't level up your wall because the wall is actually pretty bad now. Uh, zero castle, interesting one. Zero castle, I would rec. Uh, they will still need the main castle to be level. Uh, f five level ten because they need the shelter capacity and the army size. But after that, what would be a good priority for them? Zero castle. Uh, I would say the marketplace though. Not marketplace uh, after that rookery hmm. siege attack. No, mm. oh, faces. No, they don't need reinforcement limit. Mm, the fervor could be pretty nice, but I don't think it's necessary. So, zero castle, I would recommend doing the hospital and the barracks just so you can get the additional support of uh, like uh, having a higher hospital and you can retrain troops more in batches though even the barracks is 50-50 uh, or if you want you want to do it the budget way you can just do the research tower as well you can do the further side of things when you finish your castle level 5 so uh, this is my thoughts and opinion about what to level for the glory page and I'll end the video like showing you guys the honor page. Poop, poop. Okay, so this is what you be grinding. So like, I if you're not excessively coining for stuff, or you don't, you just buy the five a day. It's gonna take you a while. And if you do events, every event like uh, siege or Winterfell, I think gives you about hundred or army of that gives you like a ridiculous amount as well. So I recommend pushing your main castle to level 10, but if you're going to be too long or too far, you can push everything to level 5, then push everything to level 6, push everything to level 7. So it's about getting the most value over time. Yeah, so this is my thoughts and opinion about the subject. So feel free to email me and uh, mail me or freeze. Uh, credit goes to freeze again though. He was super helpful with providing this for his alliance. In fact, most of my t material I just steal from FDH Discord though. Uh, okay, uh, thank you guys very much and enjoy the, uh, the rest of the weekend.